How's it going everyone? Welcome to Path to Wellness. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about tips for intermittent fasting and how to avoid snacking. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the, click the bell so you're notified of when I have new videos. Thanks a lot. So yeah, I'm just out on a walk today. It's about 30 degrees Fahrenheit here in Oregon. It's really pretty, nice and sunny, but it's pretty chilly. So anyway, um, I've been practicing intermittent fasting, oh, I'm sure over a year now, for sure, a year, maybe two. And there are a lot of great benefits, and I'm not really going to go over that on this video, but I want to, this is more of a video just about tips for actually doing it. So these are just some things I came up with that seem to work really well for me. Uh, so one of them would be when you're intermittent fasting, you want to definitely eat enough calories to sustain, to sustain you. Um, if you're calorie restricting, it's going to make it really tough and you're just going to get super hungry and that doesn't seem to work well. So just eating enough calories to stay full is one of the keys. Um, the, what I'm doing now on this routine is I'm eating, a, I'm doing a two meal a day routine. So I'm eating about at 1.30 PM and then I'm eating around six o'clock. So I'm doing like a five to six hour eating window. And that works really well. Um, I, I've done the one meal a day. I've done like a three hour eating window and that can work too, just depending on how you're doing it. But I like to eat more water rich foods, more, you know, living raw foods. So I always start out with like a green juice and then I do like a big smoothie or a large amount of fruit. And that's kind of usually my first meal. And when I do that, I get pretty full from that, but it's only around 1500 calories. So there's, that's not going to be enough calories for me for the day. And I, I basically need to take a break and then eat a second meal. Cause if I just try to stuff it all in one meal, it's just, it's just not enough calories. So this seems to be working really well for me. So that's number one is just getting enough calories. Um, <clears throat> another thing would be keep yourself busy with things that you enjoy as much as you can. So do things that you, that you're passionate about. And that way you're not always thinking about food and what I'm going to eat and all that stuff. And that's one of the great benefits of intermittent fasting is it allows you time to do things that you want to get done that you like to do rather than always wasting time eating and, you know, eating five, six times a day, which is what I used to do. So keep yourself busy with things you enjoy, find your passion. One of my passions is making these YouTube videos. Another thing is I love to work out, exercise, get outdoors in general, just hike, walk, all kinds of things like that, do yoga. So that ties into another tip, which is um, get exercise. And I like to earn, I like to earn my calories. So I usually will, on average, will exercise around noon on my lunch hour. And that way at 1.30, I'm, I'm definitely ready to eat. I've earned my calories. And then I try to do another exercise, some other type of exercise uh, late afternoon. So then at six o'clock, once again, I earn my calories and I'm ready to eat. Because if I'm if you're just sitting around, um, it just doesn't work as well. So, you know, earn, earn the calories is definitely um, something I'd recommend. It also makes it so you're not thinking about, it basically makes it so you're not thinking about food all the time and craving the wrong foods because when you exercise, that sort of suppresses that. That's at least in my opinion, that's what happens. So, and you're less likely to eat the wrong foods. That's a big, big part of it too. Um, so the next thing I was going to say was the more, the cleaner and better foods you eat, that's the foods that you will crave more. So that's what your body is just used to what your gut is used to. So the healthier and cleaner you eat, the better, the better foods you'll eat in general. That's, that's another thing. When you're not eating right, you're not gonna, you may not crave the, the right foods as much. So that's another point. Um, and those are some of the main things. You know, do the things you enjoy, work for your calories, get exercise, get outside, get into nature, even if it's cold, um, get enough calories to sustain you, eat the right foods. Those are, those are the main 
sort of the main uh, points that seem to work well for me at least. So yeah, intermittent fasting, eating a clean diet, exercising some of the, the best ways to maintain great health and uh, stay in great shape. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys soon.